Okay, this is gonna be a video. If you happen to have the outer remote that looks like this and the battery went dead, okay? And the battery went dead. Now I made this video earlier, but for some reason it came out sideways. So I'm redoing it now anyway. So this is from the 2004 to 2009 Audi A4 Quattro. It's what this was, I think they called it a W7 or something. Well, anyway, let me see if I can place the phone in a balanced position so I can show you how. So normally there'd be a piece of metal around here where the key hooks up, you know, where you lock your keys onto it, but that's broken off of this remote. So you get a screwdriver, you pop that open, see how I opened it a little bit? And it's actually a little bit stiff. Let's get that out. Now there's the battery right here, okay? Now, note, note the way the battery goes in, okay? It's got the smaller part, which I believe is positive for, facing you. You just lift the battery out. And it's a 2032, okay? So let's see if you can see that. Uh, okay, so it's a CR 2032. Put the battery back in. It just places in and it doesn't fall out. Now you have your connections here where it makes connection. Mine are clean. If they were dirty, you could clean that with a Q-tip, a little alcohol, make it make a contact. Now... So you put the battery in and get this to snap back in place. Make sure it's making contact. Snapping the cover on nice and tight. It's all in good. Now, the problem is people don't tell you that you sometimes have to reprogram this thing. So I'll show you how to do that now. Okay. After the battery comes out, it, does, it doesn't really work on the car anymore. See, and it's not. I can see it's not. So, see the light lighting? Oh, okay. I'm right up against the car. See the light lighting? And nothing's happening. I'm hitting the button, the light's lighting, look. See that light there, it's not going. The trunk, nothing, nothing. Okay, so I have to reprogram. So apparently you have to do this every time because I just made this video. Now, let me lower the volume on the radio. I don't want to get a copyright infringement. Now, what you do is you hold this bottom button here and then when you, you put the key on, on and hold that bottom button, I'm going to do it so the red light faces me. See the red light? So let's put the key upside down. So when the key is in the turn position, you'll see the light. Now watch. to Hold, hold that button. Turn the key, hold it, and when you see that thing flashing fast, ah, uh, the radio's on again. I hate that with the radio on. Let me lower the volume so I don't get a copyright infringement. See the light flashing? Now we're gonna turn let we're gonna turn the key off and we should be good. Now, let's see. Yep, it worked. Okay, now we well, now watch. Okay, remember before. See it flash? See, now let's go with the trunk. Let's listen. Unlocked it. And I threw the key violently to the floor. Okay, but you saw how that works. So I can lock it and unlock it, right? Isn't that great? So that's the way it works. And that's what everyone's leaving out. So after you change the battery with the 2032, go in your car, put the key in the ignition, hold the bottom button, Turn it on for like 10 seconds. Let go, turn it off. You're good to go. That's all that simple. This is my second go at the YouTube video because the first one didn't take. All right. Hey, like, subscribe. You never know what you're going to get in my little videos. Could be anything from Lionel Trains to ham radio to amplification system to sound systems. You never know.